it is much more than just a prison-based organization. My vision is much bigger than that. U of D is a mutual self-improvement fraternity of like minds, both men and women. Don't bring together in brotherhood and sisterhood to achieve mutual success and prosperity. We're devoted to the social economic empowerment of black and disadvantaged people, regardless of race, color, or creed. We're organizing for wealth and power for those of us who have it the least, but need it the most. It's UFD's position that with wealth and power, we can do more to end racism, sexism, gender discrimination, police brutality, mass incarceration, poverty, illiteracy, and ignorance. So, our central goals are money, power, respect, freedom, family, and education. Until black, brown, and poor people have more of these things, we will continue to be vulnerable to being abused and mistreated by those in power. Fundamentally, America is an advanced capitalist country whose very foundation is built upon a legacy of white supremacy. If we were under any illusion that this isn't true, the last several years in this country should easily dispel that notion. When Obama ran for president in 2008 and won, he had more threats to his life than any president in history, and hate crimes against black and brown people increased. Under Trump's presidency, we have only seen this get worse with the rise of white nationalism, the number one domestic threat in America. And this is to say nothing about the murder and brutalization of unarmed black people by the police. This racism has always been simmering under the veneer of American capitalist prosperity. And that prosperity for people of color has always been nothing more than a gimmick of tokenism. If anybody believes that the murder and brutalization of people of color in America isn't directly tied to our lack of wealth and power, then they are fools. In 2016, the Corporation of Economic Development and the Institute for Policy Studies put out a report entitled, The Ever-Growing Gap. Without change, African-American and Latino families won't match white wealth for centuries. This report found that 400 of the richest Americans own more wealth than the entire black population in America and one-third of the Latino American population combined. According to this report, it would take 228 years for black people to match the wealth white people own today. And things aren't getting any better. The racial wealth gap continues to grow. COVID-19 has only made it worse for our people. What can we do? USD's solution is conscious money. Conscious money is a philosophy I developed primarily based upon the black American socioeconomic experience, but any race of people can relate to and apply it. Conscious money is a combination of principles, lessons, and teachings. On one side of conscious money is Ujima, the fourth principle of Kwanzaa, which translates into cooperative economics. Under Kwanzaa, Ujima is the practice of building and maintaining our own stores, shops, and other businesses and profiting from them together. Under UFD, Ujima is the practice of working together to achieve collective financial power. Now, on the other side of conscious money are lessons, teachings, and principles of personal success. Conscious money allows us to achieve luxury, good homes, peace of mind, and friendships in all walks of life, while also empowering and uplifting our communities. UFD is going to build a trillion dollar people's movement at the grassroots level by pooling together our money, knowledge, skills, talents, efforts, and contacts to invest in and support one another. We do all that we can in the best way that we can to help one another get ahead financially. Our motto is, we all succeed by helping each other succeed. But at the heart of this conscious money movement is love for self, kind, and others. After the death of George Floyd, it now seems as if politicians and the corporate elite are finally going to act decisively to solve the twin problems of structural racism 
and wealth inequality in this country. If we believe that, then we are fools. Black Lives Matter is already being co-opted and commercialized by the white corporate elite, continuing the legacy of commodifying black lives and black bodies. The powerful will never give up power to the powerless. They will only make a few reforms that look good, like making Juneteenth a national holiday, throw a few dollars at our so-called leaders who now become agents of the white capitalist system, and then it's back to business as usual. Nothing will change fundamentally in this country until we seize the time and organize ourselves for wealth and power, help one another achieve financial success and prosperity, and conglomerate to take on the predatory capitalist system. Join UFD today to help close the racial wealth gap in America while achieving financial security and happiness. Because marching and protesting ain't gonna cut it alone. Increasing our net worth well.